What's going on guys? It's your boy Javon from JVTV and I'm back with another video for you guys, man. Guys, so today in this video, I'm going to be checking out uh, this video called 10 Guilty Teenager Convicts. So basically, we're going to do a reaction to their reaction of them getting life sentences. Now, that's crazy to me. Imagine getting life sentences when you're a teenager. Like your life is over, it's done for you. We're going to check it out. I, I, I want to see their reactions. I want to see their crimes too, because what could you possibly do to get a life sentence as a teenager? Oh man, let's 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 check it out, man. We're gonna check this out together. So now he's crying. Scared of return. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. <laughs> wow. The judge. The judge even says I agree with the family. Hope you die in prison as well. So now, what did this man do? So now he's crying. I would give my life for Austin. Oh, Austin secondary friend. A lot. I didn't mean to kill Austin. Actually, I really didn't. You know, I really think I did. I didn't mean to hurt him. When you're a teenager, your life has barely began. You're still learning how to live your life. Well, imagine having the rest of your life torn away from you and spending the rest of your life in a prison cell. Imagine your reaction to the moment that that judge takes away your life in the bang of a gavel. Well, we're going to see what that is exactly like right now as we dive into 10 teens reacting to life sentences. This first convict, known as Nicholas Lindsay, was actually too young to receive a life sentence when he was first handed into the police. But upon his resentencing, he was met with life behind bars. Whoa. When the judge reads out this sentence, Nicholas just sits there, grinning, showing zero lack of remorse. Oh, so for you his don't crimes. care. His mother walks out and just says, "It is what it is." There is no indication that this type of violent behavior will stop. Criminal history and odds of rehabilitation must be considered before life without parole is imposed. The court has significant doubts about the defendant's potential for rehabilitation. It, his mom said little when it was over. It's what the judge ordered, so that's what it is. It is what it is. But Lindsay actually grinned when the what judge it is. read his ruling. The lack of remorse not lost on David Crawford's daughter, Amanda. Justice was served, and I'm glad it's over. And it just kind of proves to me that He's an animal as he sat there smiling. This next teen re Hold up. That dude did not care at all. Like he started laughing and, and you see the way his mother reacted. She didn't she didn't even care right now. She didn't even care either. She's like it is what it is. You could tell that this dude was was causing problems since he since he was young. You know? Uh and you guys see his dad's not there. I, I, I think it all happens to how you were raised for an for environment that you were raised in. You know, his mom, she don't care. It's, it's like, it's, she's used to it. She's like, it is what it is. She don't care. Uh, the child didn't even care. I mean, it just it just crazes me, man. I, I, want, I wonder what goes on in, in, in the minds of people like that. You know, I, I, never, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, I think it has to do with... The environment, how they were raised. I, I would like to know, like, yo, what happened to lead you into that position to do that? Oh man, rest in peace to the lives that he's taken. That's crazy. This kind of proves to me that he's an animal as he sat there smiling. This next teen receives his sentence for starting a fire that killed an innocent teenager. A stupid mistake which cost an innocent life and ruined another. You could tell by the way this teen is reacting that he completely regrets his stupid decision and even starts praying as he cries. His mistake is one to learn from. Well, shows that there is something life in prison. Uh, an intentional and immediately starting another fire in the living room. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> the 
Jalen Shu, Mike. Hey guys, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on that clip down below. Do you think he deserved life in prison? I think he deserved. I think he deserves some time for for his stupidity. Like, why would you light a fire in in the living room? I, I actually the judge said he did it twice, right? Why why would you even do that twice? Oh gosh, man, it's it's just, ha! Huh. Imagine throwing your life away that young. Why would you do that, it, man? So you gotta watch your kids, man. Watch your kids, see what they're doing. You know. Was he experimenting with fire? I don't know, man. But Jesus, man. Another life lost because of somebody's stupidity. You guys, let me hear uh, if you think he deserves life for that or not. I'm not a judge, so, <laughs> you know. Dylan Shoemaker is someone we've covered before, but this story is so intense that I thought I'd share it again. Dylan is being sentenced here for the murder of a sweet, innocent baby. He killed his girlfriend's child, and when the court day comes, mm. he tries to plead that he didn't mean to kill the child, despite the fact that the baby was beaten to death. Whoa. His plot to win over the yeah, jury he didn't work, life. and he is serving his life sentence. He deserved he life. To life. I can't take back what was done. I wish I could. I would give my life for Ah, uh, just save that. Just save it. I loved him a lot. Austin Smith was completely defenseless. That's a, that's a given. But there were other dynamics at work there. Austin, I really didn't hear it. I don't want to hear it. Bye. You see, there's some people that deserve life, and then the others, I'm like, ah, that was a stupid mistake. But nah, he beat the bait. Nah, he deserve everything you got. Actually caught by the judge for actually trying to text his mother saying that he hopes the jury will feel sorry for him and that he's gonna cry on purpose to try and lower his sentence. That on July 23rd, I see right 2013, through. in a phone call to your mother from the holding center, you stated, and I got a quote from the court reporter, I am a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury and they're going to feel sorry for me. <laughs> Philip Chime looks mm, like mm, an innocent mm, high school mm. student, but he is anything but that. He is actually in court for murdering his teacher. The teacher was actually only 24 years old, which is extremely wow. young for a teacher. That's my age. She was just starting her life up when it was taken away from her in a blink of an eye. Wow. Philip was sentenced to life and here's his reaction. Philip Chisholm. Indictment number 2013-1446-001. The jury, having returned a verdict of guilty of murder in the first degree on deliberate premeditation and extreme atrocity and cruelty, you will hearken to the sentence the court has awarded against you. The court, having duly considered your offenses, it is hereby ordered that you be committed to the Department of Youth Services until the age of 21 and furthermore committed to the Massachusetts Correctional Institution at Cedar Junction for the period of not less than 25 years and not more than life and that you stand committed in execution of this sentence. Hmm. Jody Arias is the first Whoa. Well, she would just get their life. That's like me, you know, just graduated college. Uh, she got her first teaching job, you know, ready to take on the world. And she's a teacher too, so she's like teaching our kids of or youth, and then he, he's going to kill her. He deserves it, man. He deserves it. I don't want to hear nothing else. You guys, let me hear your thoughts. I want you guys to tell me your thoughts on these as I'm going through them. And that you stand committed in execution of this sentence. Jodie Arias is the first female on this list. She was being sentenced for the murder of her ex-boyfriend. Her boyfriend was actually famous for saying these disturbing words to his friend. Don't be surprised if one of these Sundays I don't show up and you find me dead in some place. Well, that's exactly what happened before wow. she was sentenced to life in prison. She actually killed her ex-boyfriend just like he said she would. But I had to fight for my life just like I did on June 4th, 2008, because I realized how selfish it would be for me to escape accountability for this mess that I've created. I have two brothers, two sisters, several nieces and nephews, a mom, a dad, eight aunts, nine uncles, over 20 cousins that I've grown up with, what as well that? as countless friends, all of whom would suffer greatly if I took my own life or if I allocuted and begged for the death penalty and then got it. The most important thing I want to say is that I am very sorry for the enormous pain that I've caused the people that love Travis. I'm, I'm not horrified feeling because it. of what I did and I wish there was some way I could take it back. Court fines. The defendant has no prior criminal history. The defendant has family and community support. 
the defendant has mental health issues. The court has also considered the defendant's childhood background. The court finds the mitigation presented is not sufficiently substantial to call for leniency and that a natural life sentence is appropriate. It is ordered the defendant shall be incarcerated in the Department of Corrections for the rest of her natural life with no possibility of parole. This teenage... Wow. So, her boyfriend already knew, but at the same time, you, you, you guys know that there's, there's a lot of uh, abuse. Like, like, men get abused a lot in relationships, too. You know, I know people who, who, got, who get abused by their girlfriend, and uh, usually they're scared to speak out. You know, her boyfriend, like, seems like uh, when he made that remark, you know, he said it jokingly, but we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, you know. And, and to him to have that intuition, like, yo, if you guys don't see me this Sunday, you know, just know that she took my life and she actually took his life. You know, that, that's crazy to me. She deserves it to me, man. She So far, uh, I say mostly all of them so far deserves it, except for one, I'm like, yeah, he deserves time, but not a life. But, yo, this is, this is, this is insane. Department of Corrections for the rest of her natural life with no possibility of parole. This teenager freaks out after he is sentenced. The defendant freaks out, cries in court, and begs the officers not to take him away, showing that he at least has some sympathy for what he did. Eighteen-year-old Fernando Salgado begs to get to go home. This next team was sentenced to life in prison after he and his girlfriend robbed and killed an elderly lady. The robbery apparently went wrong and while trying to escape, the teen shot and killed the woman who was completely defenseless. The nah, teen he just sits it. and smiles as his life is being taken away from him. He's also seen actually falling asleep at one point during the sentencing. With a chuckle, a laugh, and yawn after yawn, David Moses acted strangely at his sentencing this morning, appearing to fall asleep in his chair, not once, but twice, and suffered that <laughs> physical, verbal, and emotional abuse growing up, leading to a lengthy criminal history, including sexually assaulting his sister, then a developmentally disabled cousin, and seven other children while he was in a group home. While Sessions' family said they hoped to one day see her again in heaven, Moses' attorney asked the judge for hope as well, in the form of a possibility for parole. To give him that hope, mm. Keep him for in the there. next 25 years, uh, that he may have an opportunity to be returned to society. Instead, the judge sentenced Moses to life in prison without the possibility of parole. And that's in the penitentiary for the rest of his life. Teach. Nah, he, 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 he don't deserve it. Like, that man did not care. And you see, it all spirals from when, like his childhood, you know, he was like he said he was sexually abused and all that. That don't give him a reason to go ahead and do the same thing. But I think that these 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 criminals, it always stems from how they were raised, and there it seems so far like most of them, uh, all stems from how they were raised, how they were brought up, their environment, and it it just it's just sad, man, you know. And he, that look on his face, like he did not care at all. Like he, like he just, ha, huh, oh man, I don't know. I don't know what your life, your childhood has to be like for you to have no remorse. Are you, you did not care, and go kill somebody, and it's just like it's whatever, you know. Like yo, yo, some people, hey guys, you gotta be safe out here. Some people do not care about their lives. You know, they would take your life the instant, and they do not care. They do not care about the consequences, like. If somebody uh, comes to you with a gun to rob you, you know, so, sometimes they don't even care about their own life. Just give it up, man, because that's like materialistic possessions, uh, you know, is not definitely not worth your life. Because there's some people out here, like, they do not care, you know, at all. They have nothing. So what, what, what could be possibly worse than nothing? J. Lane was convicted for killing three of his fellow high school students, which makes him a very young serial killer. He has absolutely no remorse for his crimes, and he was of course sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. And when he was being sentenced, he wore a white t-shirt with the word killer painted across it, showing how sick and twisted hmm. this teenager really is. Yeah, he is. deserves it. Nick is a very kind and loving. Why would you want to hurt him? Oh. 
You, you don't know kind. You're evil. I will have to eventually forgive you. Otherwise, you will haunt me. You will never, ever be in my thoughts after this. Never. My family will move on, not you. You have ruined your life, not to mention Adams. Even gave you a ride. Nick even gave you a ride from school. That someone tried to kill five people, and all they did was go, want to go to school. TJ also is... Yo. Like, y sometimes, sometimes I think the judge's job is super easy just by the way the defend just, just by the way they're in court. Your peer, your demeanor in court. Like that, that dude did not care. Like he, he looked like he wanted to smile and laugh in her face. Like, and then uh, the thing that she said is, she she's gonna find a way to forgive him, um, before he haunts her because she don't want it haunting. She don't want him haunting her for the rest of her life. I would never forgive somebody who killed some a uh, uh, loved one, uh, from from me, man. I would not forgive them at all. You know, I don't know. Sometimes I, I hear sometimes people be forgiving them. It couldn't be me. It just couldn't be me, man. Someone tried to kill five people, and all they did was go, want to go to school. TJ also escaped prison a year after his sentencing with another inmate who was actually captured. 19-year-old TJ Lane escaped from the Allen County Correctional Center in Lima, Ohio, and a massive search is underway for Lane and 45-year-old Clifford Operud. Lane was serving three life sentences for the February 2012 murders of three students in Chardon High School, east of Cleveland. Witnesses said he just walked into the crowded cafeteria that morning and started shooting. He was just dead silent the entire time. Uh, didn't say anything before. Uh, this next he don't even team actually to live killed his great grandmother with a hatchet with one of his friends, which is extremely disturbing. The team was, of course, sentenced to life in prison and responds by saying that the news liked to twist a lot of things around. He was still sentenced and found guilty. He showed varying emotions in court, at times wiping tears from his face. Then Barbo smirked and shook his head when the prosecutor spoke. He read only a few words from his own statement. There's a lot going around said by the news, DA, and many other people. Kill his great grandma. That I'm a cold, heartless, care careless killer. That's, that's not true. <laughs> Instead of starting his freshman year in high school, 14 year old Antonio Barbo will go to prison. This next video is very famous for showing a teenager who almost starts laughing when he is sentenced for killing the 23 year old. The mother of the victim is in tears and is so choked up she can't even speak to the jury as his sister has to stand in for her. The only words the teen has to say for himself are these. As a mother shed tears for her son, shot and killed by right. I've lost laughter and love. I no longer have the hope of having grandchildren. I've lost the enjoyment of holidays and birthdays and of everyday life. Wright addressed the court showing no remorse. I just want to tell y'all, I'll be home soon. I'll be Keon. I love my family. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see what I'm talking about? Like, like some of them do not care. Like, they do not care. They don't even care about their own life. So, they, so they're not... Hi, oh, man. So they damn well not gonna care about your life, you know. She, he said I'll be home soon, and then he started giving shout outs. Ah oh, man, guys, that summed it up. Ten guilty teenage convicts, how they react to life sentences. You know, I really want you guys to get active in the comments and let me hear your thoughts on this. But this is just insane. You know, imagine throwing your life away when when you're that young. You know, a life sentence. And then imagine having no remorse for doing all these heinous things, heinous crimes. Oh, man. My heart goes out to the family who who, who lost um, their loved ones. Uh, I'm glad that they got these sentences because they definitely deserved it. And, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy these type of videos and want to see other videos, just leave suggestions down below in the comments. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jay. Peace.